Hi guys, Coach Kane here, the Rugby Whisperer, helping you to tame the animal that is rugby. And this is my World 15 after this 2019 World Cup. If uh, the Earth was to play in an interplanetary rugby tournament between Jupiter, Saturn and the rest of the solar system, this would be my Earth side. So, number one, piece of Tarera. He was brilliant. World Cup final. Enough said. Number two, I know he was on the bench for the Springboks, uh, but unbelievable hooker. Loads of X Factor. Still think he's the best hooker in the world as long as his line of throwing was good and it was brilliant in this World Cup. Number three, Carl Sinclair. He was a huge loss for England when he went off injured. And I think it told in that final how they were dominated in scrum time. He's probably the best scrummaging tight end in the world. Number four, Murray Toji. He was brilliant against the All Blacks and he was nullified by the Springboks, but I think it just didn't help that he didn't have a lot of support around him on the day. Great player, though. Number five, Brody Retallick. I still think he's the best. Lock in World Rugby, even though the All Blacks didn't fight, feature. He's an unbelievable player. Athletic, physical, reads the game. Excellent. Number six, best man of World Rugby in 2019. World Rugby Player of the Year. What else can you say? Peter Steff toy, blindside flank. Can play lock. Brilliant in blindside flank. Makes big hits, big carries, big steals in the line out. Excellent player, good skills. Artie Sevier, quick to the breakdown, unbelievable over the ball, so athletic, great ball carrier, great cover defender, I mean, dream open side flanker. Number eight, Thor, <laughs> Dwayne Vermeulen, and he would captain my team, unbelievable side player, unbelievable uh, performer, always seems to outplay, uh, believe in Apollo, it's, it's a hell of a, spe a special feature. Number nine, big shock one, Ben Youngs, I think he's brilliant. I don't think he had a very good World Cup final, but I don't think that his pack going backwards at a mile a uh, minute helped him. He's other, I mean, you give the guy a good ball, he really can destroy defences and uh, put other players into space. And number 10, just to feature with Youngs, I think Farrell. Owen Farrell, brilliant player. Andre Pollage for sure, had a look in, and there were a couple other players, but uh, Johnny Sexton quite, wasn't quite himself, so I thought this was an easy shoe in. Number 11, I know he usually plays right wing, but I think Anthony Watson would be brilliant to left wing. Good in the air, excellent finisher. He actually played pretty well in that final. I don't think uh, he was helped by his teammates much. Number 12, player of the World Cup, Damien Dembélé. He was ex excellent. He's silenced all his critics in South Africa. Um, thank goodness that Rassi Erasmus is the coach because uh, <laughs> I don't think he would have survived under another coach. He's fantastic though. He had faith in them. He was brilliant. And he took his, his option taking was so much better. Defensively, also amazing. Number 13, Manu Tuolangi. I mean, the guy's just built to break through walls. And he is an excellent player. Good agility, nice pace, um, hard defender. Didn't get much ball in that final against the Springboks because of the way the Springbok pack played. And I think uh, against the All Blacks, he featured more because he got better ball. And it just shows you how dangerous he is. Number 14, I think definitely the player... The, the outside back of the World Cup, Cheson Colby, he was brilliant, absolutely dangerous at all times, made an absolute nuisance of himself for all the defences in the World Cup that he played against, so yeah, class player, and uh, so improved under the high ball, it's actually amazing. Number 15, Bowden Barrett, great player, classy, all round, what can you say about the guy, he's so versatile, and I think the All Blacks uh, got it wrong maybe playing him at fullback, but if he's going to play at fullback, he's my World 15 fullback. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your World 15 from the Rugby Whisperer. Uh, Springboks won the World Cup. I'm still in ecstatics. I'm still doing somersaults over here. But uh, this is rugby. This is Coach K and the Rugby Whisperer helping you to tame the animal that is rugby. Please click on the, the like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe. Let's get some movement. Let's get some traffic. And you know what? If you don't like a player, let me know. Talk to me. I'll reply. Cheers. Bye.